business. Now, tourism has been a key pillar of the Kenyan economy for years, contributing 12% to the gross domestic product and sustaining one in 10 jobs. Now, recently, however, the sector has seen its fortune stand for the worse after a series of crises, so it pushed decreasing earnings, putting the future of tourism in Kenya into question. But the government has now moved in to save it from sliding into oblivion. Adelaide Changole with the details. The past two years have been anything but rosy for the tourism sector. First, the sector witnessed a slowdown in activity as tourists adopted a wait-and-see approach ahead of the March 2013 elections. We had a very successful um, general election and the tourism sector picked up. Then came the August 7th Inferno that destroyed the arrivals terminal at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and subsequently the Westgate Mall incident that put Kenya's security situation in the spotlight and saw tourist numbers reduced to a trickle. The airport um, fire incident and the Westgate um, terrorism incident has affected uh, the tourism sector very, very uh, badly. This has seen earnings from the sector fall from 97.3 billion in 2011 to 96 billion last year. And it has cost it the title of top foreign exchange earner in the country. But now the government is moving in to rectify the situation by appointing a committee that will chart the roadmap for the sector going forward. The team will include members from both the private sector and the government, among them the Kenya Tourist Board Managing Director Mirith Ndegwa, Kenya Tourism Federation Chairperson Lucy Karume, Chairman of the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers, J.S. Vora, and Adam Gilo from the Kenya Association of Tour Operators. I have appointed this uh, standing committee that will help the Ministry of East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism to come up with those um, you know policies and um, you know uh, proposals to government as to where we need to take uh, the tourism sector the team will be tasked with developing a marketing strategy that will showcase kenya as the country to visit in the region we need to convince the world that yes it's safe to come to kenya kenya is still the best tourist destination and we need to take that message directly uh, to the source markets. Stakeholders lauded the decision, saying it could be the cure to the malaise that has been affecting the sector. They urged the state to give the team the necessary support to turn the fortunes of the sector around. And if you don't take tourism seriously, there will be a lot of job losses, and we would hate to see that. The tourism sector currently contributes 12% of the country's GDP and employs 10% of the workforce. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.